So today is Friday. Friday's a lot of a lot of people go, thank God it's Friday. They cut off work early, especially in the summer. And they just kind of do their thing, man. It's one of those days. I remember when I worked in corporate America at Weeder Publications. I remember that uh I remember that on Friday, it was kind of like a ghost day. Like people were there, but they weren't really mentally there. Now, we own a business. Friday, Friday is just like any other day. Friday is just a day because Sunday and Saturday, you're working those days as well. So, I mean, for me this Friday, it actually signals the beginning of a new work week because I'm going to Poughkeepsie, New York. Um, it's funny because when I always make fun of a town, like a small nothing town, I always say Poughkeepsie. Like when I'm just thinking of an obscure town, it's going to be Poughkeepsie. So by going there, I'm not only realizing the dream, I'm also seeing um, a really good account out there, House Nutrition. And for me, it's a part of my job that I really love, which is going out and seeing customers. We train together. We do that. Um, what really sucks is I, I'm not going to be with my family on Saturday, but I fly home as early Sunday as possible. So, you know, something you said about that. But... You, you're going to travel throughout life. You're going to move places. You're going to go places. And there's an old adage. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. And I, I agree to that to some extent. But what changes society, what changes things, is when people have their moral fabric, their ethical fabric, the fabric of who makes them them. And no matter where they go, they always carry that with them. And they elicit change within a society. Positive change, we hope. But if someone has morals and ethics and takes it somewhere else, they could influence someone else to be a better person. You have missionaries. It's not that kind of missionary. You have missionaries going to other countries, building houses, taking our ethics to perhaps countries that don't know those ethics, but providing a positive experience and doing something good for others. And perhaps inspiring others to do good things. So as I travel, I'm always sure to take who I am with me. And that's someone who helps people. Someone needs help across the road, help across the road. Someone needs help their groceries, getting them out of the store, you help them. Hold doors for people. What I'm saying is where you go shouldn't influence who you are. But today, morning at home, but then I'm going because it's part of what I do. That's what's up. Last few years, I spent a lot of time in Chicago here International Airport. It's kind of like a home away from home. I spent a lot of time here, flew a lot, traveled 300 days the last two years straight. It's been crazy. This year has been a lot less and it's been really good. I've been focused on product development as you see the new products and of course, the back end and new site and everything and everything. Now, bottom line is, you know, this is where I go. You know, part of being a CEO is just getting on the road and doing the work. And honestly, you can't do a lot of appearances like I do because I'm out there, I'm transparent. You know, I have to go out there in the market and see what's going on, meet with customers, meet with fans, whatever. So it's just a part of what I do. There's exactly one reason why we dominate MTS Nutrition, everybody, because we never take time off. If in the airport, I'm always productive. I never let a minute go by without productivity, whether it's family, business, whatever it is. We never let a minute go by without being productive. And that's what it's all about, man. It's about productivity. How do you best utilize your time to make gains in all areas of life? Well, I did enjoy corporate America, I gotta say. Seeing these dudes hustling in business suits while I'm wearing joggers and still presenting at IRCE things and universities and stuff, Man, I'm glad I started my own business. The airport just makes me realize right? the grind that they're doing isn't the grind that I think I'd like. So, yeah, White Plains, New York, they're flying this way. Walk out of the gate. is right fucking there. Oh, here you gotta walk out 12 miles. These small airports got it going on. And there's my car. Ooh, I'm going to do it. Midwest, we got nothing compared to New York and South. Look at this shit Look at those brims. Those are insane. Oh man, I love this shit. You know, it's my family, but it's not about getting out. You know, it makes you feel like a man. You know, you get out on the road and you bring home the money for your kids. Like World War II, when there were scarce jobs, I remember 
watching a movie, an American girl movie, a little doll movie, and it's like, you know, this guy, like, he left his family for two months to go bring back money and get a job and earn for his family. There's something about being a man that comes from earning, and I know women have, every, yeah, women can have great careers too, and women can be the single supporter of a family too, but something about being a man that I think earning a living, earning a living is definitely a part of being a man and supporting and providing for your family. And I don't care if that makes me sexist or chauvinistic or whatever, that's just my belief. I'm not saying my wife works full time too, but I'm just saying as a man, I wanna contribute. I just don't wanna be a parasite on the family or on society, you know what I mean? Dude, are you guys seeing this snow? Holy shit! I did not expect this. Chicago got barely tapped. Anyway, yeah, here I go, driving up to Keepsie. It's about an hour and 15 from the airport. Wish me luck. You know what? Good thing about staying at one hotel, I always recommend you get your points because I get free upgrades to these suites and stuff. Hi, everybody. So, I mean, you know, this is a good spot. See, I have a couch bed right there. My buddy, Ron Parmeter, um, he's actually with Doug Miller um, right now at CORE as a sponsor. I think good friend. He's coming to the event tomorrow. I told him just crash here because he lives a decent ways away. But, I mean, you know, if you're going to spend the night away, you know, for a little over 100 bucks. So, today is Friday, and I am glad it is Friday. Well, I'm not one of those people that does not like a new week and Monday. I am thankful it's Friday because this week has kicked my butt. Um, so before the Arnold's, I was diagnosed with a sinus infection. And when I get a sinus infection, it's pretty serious because I had sinus surgery about five years ago and had a golf ball sized fungus removed from my sphenoid sinus. So that fungus basically eroded the bone between my sphenoid and my pituitary, essentially my brain. So when I get a sinus infection, I have to be very careful. I go on strong antibiotics, prednisone and everything. So uh, I did my first round of antibiotics and the doctor said if I didn't feel better to re-up my prescription, well, I thought I was feeling better and I waited two days and then um, I was sure my sinus infection was still there. Headaches, um, just the nastiness in the sinuses, no energy. Um, so yeah, I am glad it's Friday. This weekend's kind of low key at home, a couple soccer games, dog sitting and watching my niece and hanging out. Mark will be back Sunday fairly early. But yeah, um, my workout today was, it, I did it. I haven't missed a workout but I just lacked energy and strength today. And I was talking to a friend of ours who is a doctor and I told him what antibiotic I was on and he told me to be careful because the side effects of the Levaquin that I'm on is that you can have damage to your tendons. In fact, you can like tear your tendons. You, It's just not a good antibiotic, but I'm allergic to penicillin, so that's what I have to take. And now we're on like week three or something of this medicine and it's just finally hit me was a lot of driving around this week with the kids, just, I don't know, even where the week went, you know, the normal activities plus not feeling well. Um, so I'm just thankful that it's Friday and that this weekend I can rest. You know, we don't have to be anywhere early in the morning. Just kind of hang out at home, get caught up on everything work-wise. Um, my, this house is a disaster. I mean, there's like a basket of towels that has been sitting on the floor for probably a week and a half that I haven't folded, um, just a disaster. So if I can get the kids to help me with that. So anyways, enough about that. I just want to give you a background on my crazy sinus history. Um, hopefully I start feeling a little better this weekend. But I wanted to talk about um, our topic for the day, which is staying who you are, no matter where you are. And I kind of relate that to like remaining true to who you are in your life, to, despite where you are in your life. So um, obviously Mark and I have been very successful due to a lot of hard work in our lives. Um, geez, Mark started working at 19 and what were we 36. So it's a lot of years of basically busting your ass every single day when other people were, you know, in college partying, we were busting our ass and from the get go. And it, it definitely has paid off. I have no regrets, but anyways, what I'm getting at is like, so I'd like to, we're pretty successful, right? But I think Mark and I are very humble, down-to-earth people. People come up and tell us that. 
I think when you hit a level of success, people have this expectation that you're going to act a certain way, like you're better than them or something. Like, I mean, it, it happened at the Arnold where like people came up and they're like, wow, you guys are just so real. And we are real. We like, we're not better than anyone else because of being successful. And I'm not, it, it's, you know, by all means, we have, we definitely are just like, as you found in this vlog, normal suburban life. You know, we take our kids to soccer, we work, we get our stuff done we're not showy people. I mean, we live within our means. We have a beautiful home and we like nice things, but you know, we don't as you know, we don't show off. You don't see us talking about stuff that we've bought. I mean, yeah, we could we could do a lot more, but it's not really who we are. Like, you know, it was funny cuz at the Arnold, Doug Miller and Sean were just telling Mark like he needs to get this Cadillac, like car thing whatever and it's just like you know there's certain things that yeah that'd be awesome we might get a nice car eventually but we just it's not our top on our list um we're just we're simple people and I made notes for this video because my brain is all jacked up so yeah um the other thing I noticed at the Arnold was that I don't get to see all the time is Mark in action and I, I'm so proud of Mark I mean he's accomplished so much but what I'm getting at is seeing people come up to him and truly wanting to talk to him. And he takes the time out of his schedule to talk to consumers. Whereas in the, in any business, a lot of times the CEOs don't make themselves available. And that's probably why people who have success get that rap that, you know, they're a certain way. They're, they're too foo-foo or stuffy to, to talk to, oops, to talk to people. But you know, that's what got us to where we are is the consumers. So Mark and I have the, you know, we, we, we thank our consumers. We want to talk to you. That's, that's why we do what we do. So, um, that's that. But, um, yeah. So just no matter where you are in your life, remember who you are and what got you to where you are. Be thankful for it and don't change, change for the better, but Oh, the lighting's crazy. Change for the better, but remember who you are and stay true to that. So, um, just got back from a dinner meeting. It's 1130. I know it's St. Patrick's Day. Y'all might think, hey, he was out getting crunk. I don't drink. Um, not because I don't believe in alcohol or I don't like alcohol. You know, I'm not, I'm not a prude. I'm a libertarian. I believe everyone should be able to have control of their own body, but I like having control of my own body. I've tried drinking before and it just wasn't my thing, you know, I just, my mom was an alcoholic and, or is an alcoholic and, and a drug abuser and a drug addict and, you know, I just never thought I wanted to get involved in that in my life. I never want to invite that addictive personality out in me, you know, and it is genetic. Addictive personalities can be a genetic trait and I just didn't want that to be a, a risk factor in what I do. So I don't drink and I'm not against people drinking and have a good time. You know, smoke a little weed, it's just not for me. Just because I've seen what it can do long term to a family and to people involved. Now, I have an event tomorrow. It's it's 11.30 now. I'm, I'm meeting them for breakfast at 8 a.m. And then we go to the event at 10. And it's going to be awesome. House Nutrition in Poughkeepsie, New York. These guys are great. I just had dinner with their whole team. You know, just a good time, good people. You know, you look at like why I don't do business with GNC. And here's why I don't do business with GNC. Because it's, it's just a corporate entity right and it's just pawns and they pay spiff money their employees what is spiff money it means that each month they get a list of products that they make commission on and each month they'll recommend you something different whether it works or not based on how much money they get that's their business model that's the only way their sales reps can make any money it is what it is and uh i'm not against that business model i just don't want to align mts nutrition with a brand that does shit like that you know i want you guys to support the ma and pause the house nutrition's the fit rx's the ion nutrition's you know the max muscle huntington beach those guys are real fucking dudes who always 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 had my back gnc doesn't have my back these guys are my boys i don't ask them to give me special treatment all i ask is that when someone goes to buy a bottle of mts you don't try to talk them out of it and sell them something else because you know what we provide the best goddamn products and i'm there to support it anyway tomorrow it starts at 10 a.m so i gotta get going but i'm taking off my shoes right now but i gotta say i really want to show some love to them and today's just a normal day. I'm going to be up till probably around 2 a.m. answering emails, doing work, getting this video up for the morning. 
But I just want you guys to know that like there's so much love from me to you guys for always having my back. Like I know today's about always staying true to who you are and, and that's what I've done. You know, like we're not flashy people, you know. We don't we don't floss, we don't flash, we don't have fancy cars and, and I might I might buy an escalade this year. I, I really I want one. I've I've always wanted one and I've I've always been I've been able to afford one since probably two thousand and one. But that's just not who I am. I mean, I've gotten by this long. The main reason I want, a, I want a bigger car. I don't fit in my damn Fusion anymore. But, you know, it's not a sob story, but, like, being true to who you are, I'm still that same kid on the streets of Inglewood, California, just trying to make it in life, just trying not to get beat up or robbed or whatever. You know, I'm still that same kid trying to survive, except I'm surviving in corporate America. I'm surviving in the jungle, man. I'm surviving out there where everybody's trying to, you know, like Mark Cuban, to paraphrase Mark Cuban, work every day like someone's working 24 hours a day trying to take everything you have. Think about it. Everything you have, someone's trying to take it. Work with the fury to keep everything you have. I live every day in fear, in fear of losing it. When I was a kid, we had stuff, you know? My dad had a good job working for the state of Illinois, tax man, you know, and my mom squandered it all away due to her habits. And uh, we lost everything. And then I was forced to fend for myself. In and out of, my mom was in and out of mental institutions, in and out of rehab centers. My dad was in and out of the hospital with his type two diabetes issues. You know, it is what it is. But always stay true to who you are. And at dinner tonight, I didn't fake the funk, whether it's business or personal. Just keep it real. And don't be someone you're not. Good night, guys. So I'm looking at my email this morning. I get a mass email from one of the other sites that sell supplements that you're just a number to, right? They were bragging that one supplement line was free shipping. Bro, if you order over $99 in product in the continental US any day of the week, free shipping anywhere in the US at Continental USA. Free shipping on orders over $99 at tigerfitness.com. Why even look at the other guys? And also, we ship from Vegas and Ohio. Most places in the U.S. are a one to two day ship. And that's not a game.